everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another review slash demo video. I liked doing this when I did the how to dye your hair at home. I liked that type of video where I could show you not only what I liked about a product, but me using it. That way it's not just going by my word, but actually showing you and you being able to see how it really works for yourself. What I'm going to be reviewing today is the um, L'Oreal True Match Lumi Liquid Foundation. It's not something that just came out, but actually I was running out of my foundation and I was a die hard Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I do like to try new foundations once I've ran out of one, um, just to see if I like another one or if I don't like another one. That's why I wanted to try out this one. This has gotten lots of good reviews on YouTube and that's one reason that led me toward it. I am very dry skin and so since this is a Lumi foundation, it's just going to help to illuminate your skin and just make it more dewy and bright and awake. I did go ahead and get it in the color nude beige and I know there are three different types that you can choose from there's warm uh, neutral and cool and so whatever undertone you have you can go in that which is pretty cool necessarily I don't know if I have a warm undertone because I'm extremely like kind of pale but I still have like this like olive undertone so that's what led me toward the warm in Revlon color state I did have a medium beige so I just went ahead and put them side by side and found the one that matched it the, the most and this is great because it does have a pump so I'm super excited about that I won't have to be annoyed about it at the very end I am going to be using my beauty blender to apply this I'm gonna go ahead and get started what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take um an average so let's do two pumps at first actually I don't even know if that's gonna be enough so let's do three um, so yeah the color actually looks um, really pretty I'm hoping it's going to match well I guess we will find out so I'm just going to take my beauty blender and I'm just going to grab um, a little portion of that and I'm just going to start stippling this on um, I don't even know if I have used um, the Beauty Blender in a video yet, but yeah. So I'm also going to drag that onto my neck um, and onto my eye, but I'm not really going to go where my under eye is because I don't want to make that any darker than it needs to be because my under eyes are already dark already, so we don't want to enhance that. So I will go ahead and go over that with... Um, concealer layer on. So then I'm just going to get some more and go on to the other side. Um, when I first used the Beauty Blender, I will have to say that I found out that um, when I went to take my foundation off after I used the Beauty Blender, it literally, this makes the foundation go into your skin. Like, I washed my face and none of the makeup came off. And I was like, what is going on? So I had to literally like use a makeup wipe and then wash my face twice again just for the makeup to come out because I guess since it is damp and it is a sponge, it helps to absorb into your skin. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing because um, it can clog your pores a lot more, but um, overall the quickness of applying it with a beauty blender is a lot better. So uh, I went ahead and did both sides of my face, but I ran out of product. So I'm just going to do like one and a half pumps to finish. So yeah, so now I'm just going to grab some more, go into my chin a while, and again, don't forget to blend on your lips. I will have to say that this is already giving me like like a dewy and like moisturizing look, looking finish. Um, so that's a plus. Um, another thing, um, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. I feel like every time I do my foundation on camera, like it just does not pick up the way I want it to. But in person, um, it's a little bit dark um, of a color compared to my body, I would say, but not, 
not extremely so. And when I get very pale in the winter, I do not match my foundation to my face because for one thing, my um, face is so pale and if I matched it, I would literally look like a ghost and my body is a different color than my face. So I never really go by my face. I normally go by my like neck or arms or you know, so on. Okay, so I have completely put the foundation on. Um, I will have to say that the overall coverage, I don't know if it's picking up on camera. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say it's really full coverage. I would say um, in person it looks a lot more full coverage than it does on camera. But um, yeah, it looks very like brightening and I love the way it looks. So what I'm going to do is going to go ahead and apply some concealer and I'm going to blend that in. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do that on camera and once I've got the concealer on, I'm going to set it with my Urban Decay setting spray and then come back and let you all see how it is set and what it looks like. So I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Fresh Complexion Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers at the moment. So I normally do the same thing. I'll go in a triangle-ish motion. And I do one eye at a time because I don't want one part of the um, concealer to dry up in it. And I'm also going to do the other side, or use the other side of the Beauty Blender and blend that in. I do love the Beauty Blender to help blend my concealer because I have a lot of trouble, or I had a lot of trouble when I blended it with my fingers because it tended to make the um, concealer move and I had to apply more and more and it was completely annoying, so yeah. Also, I'm just going to apply a little bit on my nose, Cupid's bow, and my forehead because since it is, um, or it makes the under eyes look extremely lighter than the rest of my face, I just kind of want to balance that eye out. So that's why I'm going to be putting on a few more other areas other than my under eyes. My um, concealer is one step I literally cannot, um, I cannot pass up. Like. That is what I have to have. I hate my under eyes that they are dark, dark and that I do have a lot of dark circles, but you know, part of life, go with it. I'm going to be applying my Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And I'm just going to spray that all over, that way the makeup is set and it's not going to move throughout the day. And actually, I believe that this um, specific is actually for people with um, dry skin because it helps to chill and it just helps to wake up your face and just feel moisturized and hydrating. So um, there is an all-nighter one and that is specifically for to keep your makeup on all day and all night. So whichever one you prefer, but I do love this one because after you put it on, it just feels like, oh, like a breath of fresh air. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and come back and show you what it looks like and then I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup and give you a review after that. So the foundation has been sitting for about 5 to 7 minutes after I put the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray on and I will have to say that I love the finish it gives. Um, the coverage is just enough where it's not so full coverage that it's like, whoa, you've got so much makeup on. On camera, it does look really well color-wise. In person, I would have to say it's a little bit darker. Um, I did blend it on my neck a lot, but more down here, I'm a little bit more pale. So I might have to go back and get a different color, but that's no big deal. I mean, it's hard to match your color anyway. If you all are wondering, by the way, I did purchase it at Walmart. And I believe the price before tax was $10.98. I know it was at least 10 
and yes, that is a little expensive. The Revlon Color Stay was, I believe, $9.90, so it wasn't that big of a price difference. But for um, a drugstore foundation, it's a little bit on the expensive side. I'm actually going to go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and then come back and give you one last review of Just what I finished my full face. Um, my eye makeup, um, contour, blush, lips, and everything. So this is the finished product with the foundation and the rest of my makeup on. Girl, I apologize for this hair. It's doing its own thing today. If I had to give this a 1 to 10, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. I mean, overall, um, coverage is great. It does give me a glowing um, look so I don't look so dry. Um, the only thing is I would just have to get maybe a different color, just a little bit lighter. Um, well, maybe not. I don't know. Just comment down below what you all think. But I really love it. The contour and the blush and bronzer went really well over the foundation. I know some foundations when you put the blush and bronzer on it tends to get choppy but um it went on really smooth so that's a plus overall i really love this foundation comment down below um whether you like it or not or what you do like about it what you don't like about it or your holy grail foundations that you love because i love trying new ones out when i run out of one or if for some reason it's just going horribly wrong and i need to switch it right away i believe that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you really like these uh review slash demo videos and if you do comment down below or give this video a thumbs up and let me know what you want me to review or demo next and i will get it up hopefully very soon so other than that i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video